the mighty warriors cell, the stem cell. There are some people that's been, uh, there has been some people asking me some things about the stem cell being I was talking to them also about some different organizations such as the uh, Nygaard Biotech and the uh, SENS organization, uh, the Methuselah, Methuselah, excuse me, I have a broken jaw, but uh, the Methuselah Foundation. We all are starting to wake to the fact that there is a way of helping mankind not to age as rapidly as they are doing now since the recorded uh, history of mankind. But what these organizations that I mentioned do not realize that the body of mankind has a disease called aging and premature death. Aging and premature death. The stem cell, uh, the uh, some call it the, the totipotent, uh, the the uh, pluripotent of the uh, embryonic uh, stem cells, uh, the, uh, prog the the progenitor cells that come from it, the uh, multipotent, the ugliopotent. Uh, these cells, these all these different stem cells for the muscles, the building of the bone, all these things, they originate from one cell. And I say that that cell is under a massive attack and in a battle of life against death. I say it has struggled and, and raised a major war and has won this war by, by keeping mankind alive long enough to research. We could and have uh, studied in the past that some humanoids in the past they only had a life expectancy of 25, 30, 40 years. Now, this day, and for many centuries now, we have the capability of living to 100. I'll say 100, most men do not, but we have the capability of living to 100. Many scientists, if not for those days to where they were able to study for the first uh, 30 years of their life, uh, uh, historians study for the first 30 years of their life. Uh, they would not have been able to build a, a, a scholastic thought, a, a, a body of teaching, uh, a way of, of bringing forth this knowledge to this day and time. We would be still in the caveman days, many of us, those who were of the cavemen, would be of the cavemen days if we were not able to have lived this lifespan and been able to research and develop technologies and we needed that lifespan dramatically or we would not have got there and we owe this to the creator cell the developer cell called the stem cell the creator cell the warrior I call it the warrior it makes the white blood cells to defend the body to where if it wasn't for that stem cell in the marrow of the bone of the body saying here I'm making you go out and Keep us motivated here. Keep us living. I, here, let me make you like this. I'm going to develop you into a a a a, 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 a phago site. To take off. Uh, get out of here. Go save us. Fight this battle. We must live to a hundred years of age to get this technology going. It's in the very genome of mankind to get to a day. In my opinion, and I believe my my opinion, my hypothesis, my theory is now law, I believe this very deeply, that it's in the very genome of mankind for his stem cell to battle like this and bring us to a day to where suddenly we can look at our data and say, my goodness, we can live centuries instead of mere decades. And we can metamorphosize, uh, metamorphose into another being. Have a literal metamorphosis take place to where we can grow into a mightier being to where we can do our studies in our, in our first couple of centuries and then use the rest of the time just to grow stronger and develop more technologies. Uh, you, you, you've heard men in the past speak of Shangri-La and of uh, uh, paradise and of uh, a heaven coming to earth. What greater heaven would there be coming to earth? These men hypothesizing that there was going to be a heaven here on earth 
that there was going to be peace among men, what greater peace would there be than the curing of aging and premature death of man, animal, and plants? We all have the same disease called aging. Once we cure this in the right life forms, those life forms will flourish to where the others will diminish and no longer be. The correct life forms, let's say, will be on earth. Mankind. And then what animals? I have a thought on that, but we'll talk about that another time. Right now, I'm telling you, we have the cure. Our Word Research Institute has found the molecules, the organic molecules needed to develop an elixir that's going to go in and do what? Remove the disease of aging from mankind's body that will allow the stem cells to remain totipotent, to remain pluripotent if they desire. Then there are the specialized stem cells that goes throughout the body. They're there, they can do, they can do whatever act. You lose a finger, they grow it back in a week. You lose an arm, they grow it back in two weeks. <clears throat> you break your back and you tell everybody, I'll catch up with you. Don't worry about it, I'll catch up with you. I'll let my body heal itself real quick and I'll, I'll be there. That is the capability of this human body in my hypothesis, in my theory, that I believe is now law. I've been proclaiming to scientists and universities and, and independent laboratories for years, telling them, let me in your laboratory. I have a hypothesis. And now, since that time, I've been studying, I've been uh, searching with my own meager funds, my own meager way of uh, being able to do things, and I have found in the past data of great scientists, of great historians, I have found the cure for aging and premature death, to where we can go on to live centuries instead of mere decades. This uh, Word Institute that I'm developing here, Adam and Eve Word Institute, it is a fledgling institute uh, by its uh, face, but I've actually been doing this for many years with my own funds, but my funds are gone. So, I'm looking for funding, I'm looking for laboratories and researchers, we can have the cure for aging and but months, but a couple of years. I, I see only just a few months standing in our way of having the now end of aging in our grasp. To where your parents can live. My parents are dead and gone. It cut my heart out. To where your brothers and sisters can live. I've lost some of my family members, as so many of you have. We can end aging and sickness with this formula that I am discussing with you here. Please, move on into this blog. You, you'll be able to see I have to use a, a, uh, a, a blog spot to where I can do all this work myself uh, quickly, and then I can go on to contacting people around Earth, go on to my meager studies, go on to my, uh, my calling, mailing, uh, walking to people's doors, doing all I can to wake them to the fact that we have a disease that now has its end setting at our feet. Please help me bring the end of the disease called aging and premature death. Enter this blog. I, I, I contact the, the uh, theologists, the scientists, the uh, historians, the archaeologists, the geologists, the etymologists. I contact the old man and old woman down the street. I'm trying to wake mankind to the fact that we now have the end of aging in our grasp, in our hands, due to the mighty power of the warrior cell, the creator cell, the developer, the stem cell that creates all of its progenitor cells to help keep this body moving which I say we would have many more totipotent or pluripotent stem cells in our body if the body was not diseased. We have a disease. Science has proven this by removing the stem cell from the body, putting it in in vitro, and that stem cell 
replicate and replicate, reproduce indefinitely in vitro in, in the laboratory, but now it is proven that the stem cells can only live from six months to three years in body to where it is living indefinite in vitro because it's no longer in the diseased environment of the body it came from. The cell is amazing. The, it, as soon as it leaves the body, it cleaned itself up. It cured itself of the disease. But it's have, having to constantly, with a diminished army, with a damaged workforce, having to repair a body that is so sick and so diseased that it has to die with it to stay within the body to help try to cure it. Science has proven this. They took the stem cell from the body, grew it in vitro, and it grows indefinitely. Continues to grow. That is amazing. But put those same cells back into the body, it'll be a miracle taking place. They'll be able to heal that organ or whatever the case may be that they were developed to cure, but then they will weaken again and they still will not be able to take mankind past the age of 100, 110, maybe 120. But we cure this environment. The stem cell will flourish and they will not only repair us, they will make us a greater being that can live centuries instead of mere decades. Please examine every video and you will notice my funds are low, so you, my videos are not of the highest quality. And you'll notice my jaw fighting with me. I fractured it as a small boy, and it didn't grow quite properly, so you'll see me struggling with my speech. But I'm calling out to you. Science, technology, theologists, historians, archaeologists. I call out to you teachers, professors. I call out to you man and woman down the street. Young man, young woman down the street, old man, children down the street. I'm calling out. This is the generation. Let's don't miss this opportunity. It's going to come. But will it be in this generation or will it be in the generations after us? Will it be another 200 years down the road? 300. We have the means right now. And I am the man who proclaims this. And there's other men working on this. Great men. Innovators. Aubrey de Grey. Peter Nygaard, scientists in Sweden, uh, in uh, Washington State University in America, Princeton, amazing laboratories doing all they can to find and, and bring forth a, a body of data that will end this thing called aging. It's happened. We have the cure. Let's put it together. My name is Rodney Berry. Please enjoy this blog.